So I'm interested in showing you today how to edit the objects on the screen. So I have a cube and a sphere on the screen. And if I select the sphere, just for starters, I want to modify this. I might want to punch holes into it or change colors of different things. But if I double click on this, it asks me, do I want to convert to geometry? And I do. So to do that, I want to hit bake. And now I have this sphere. And you can see it's made up of, of all these little panels. It has all of these areas where it meets. And it also has this new menu down at the bottom, which means I'm in an edit mode and I can change things. So for instance, if I click on this triangle one here, I can click on a face. My mouse is jumping around right now. Let's say I click on that face right there. It's grayed out and I can hit delete. And I just got, um, I just deleted that hole out of there. I just punched a hole out of it. Let me zoom back out. I'm not sure why it's running so slow. But I want to make sure, again, I'm on faces because I want to punch a couple of these holes out. And it, it gives me a little bit of hole. I'm almost making like an eye in this face. I can also click on this button right here to select vertex. The vertex are where these faces meet in the corner. So I can take this hole that I have and click on the vertex and start reshaping the hole to maybe form a more rounded I instead of that very squared in I. So I'm messing with the, the vertex to do that, where the faces meet. Now I selected two so they're both were moving. So I can reshape any one of these. And there's one left. There's this one. And that's just the lines. It's also called edges in other programs. So if I want to, I can click on this edge and I can uh, manipulate that edge. I can reshape these faces. They have a totally different shape now because I manipulated the edge. So you can change the way objects work. Um, but remember, an edge will pull on other edges. Vertex will pull on other vertex. So um, just kind of keep that in mind as you edit, but you can edit. So now I'm going to try the same thing again. So I'm going to exit out here with this box, this cube that I have here. Let me resize it a little bit. Maybe I want to make a donut type box. Um, so I have this resized and I want to take out the top. So again, I double click on it, I hit bake, and now I have all these panels. So I can click on this face and delete that top face. So again, I'm just clicking on that face and hitting delete on my keyboard. So now I have an open box. And I will note about a cube. A cube has all of these lines so that if you want to manipulate this edge, you have to select all of these edges. So to get more than one, you click on one and you hold your shift key down and you click on them all. And then you can, I didn't get them all, so this isn't going to change a whole lot, but you can, you can manipulate the, the edges as well. So same thing with vertex. There's a whole lot of vertex in here, um, but I can manipulate any single one of them. Um, and to get out of edit mode, I want to go back to exit edit mode. 